Hello everyone, today I want to show you some comparator based pulse limiters. Specifically pulse limiters that create two game tick signals. The most common way to make such a signal is the upwards facing sticky piston with a block on top uh, where the yeah, redstone repeater powers through a block and instantly uh, the power is cut off by the extending block. So in 90% of the cases this uh, yeah, is a good solution. The downside is that it's that it's yeah three high. Sometimes you don't have that much vertical space and it creates noise. But apart from that, it's yeah really good compact. But anyway, um, so uh, first this locational example, which helps explaining how comparator-based uh, pulse limiters work. So um, the comparator is powered in the same game tick as it's depowered by this uh, repeater and would give off a zero tick signal because it's uh, for a short moment in the game tick powered but then depowered again and yeah the repeater after that would lengthen the signal back to two game ticks Normally the comparator would be updated after repeater, but in this special case where a repeater is in front of a comparator, the comparator has the same priority as a repeater. Shreer looked in a game code. In this special case both the repeater and the comparator have priority 3. So now it depends on the update order of the redstone. If this uh, redstone dust updates that comparator before this repeater is updated, the short pulse is generated. And yeah, it only works with a repeater in front. So if I would replace it with a redstone dust, this no longer no longer works. So let's add the repeater back in front. And as you can see, it's locational. So in this location, it works, but this location it wouldn't work and again this location it works again and it has nothing to do with the uh, yeah, signal strength here. Uh, over there it's the same exact example where this redstone dust doesn't work yeah, and as you saw before here it does work. And here we have a non-locational short pulse generator by adding a comparator in front of the other comparator and uh, a repeater and comparator that would depower the comparator. The update order is manipulated in a way that you always get a shot pulse. What's interesting about this one is that it depends if the uh, comparator is in a subtraction mode or in normal mode. So for example, if it's in normal mode, then uh, it wouldn't work if it powered from here. But from yeah, other locations it works. So if, and if it's on compare or uh, sub subtract mode, then it always works. It's non-locational. A little bit off topic, but still interesting, is the glitched comparator mode. If you power a comparator with signal strength 15 and instantly depower it in the same game tick, the comparator yeah, is in a glitched mode where it appears to be powered, but isn't. You can get it back into a non-glitched state just by simply right-clicking twice on it. And if it's in that glitch state, you could um, replace that redstone dust with a repeater and you would still get short pulses. But only if it's in the glitched mode. So if you send it back to the non-glitched mode, then yeah, nothing happens. And yeah, by adding a redstone dust again, it always works. This falling edge short pulse generator is another example where the glitched mode uh, yeah, plays a role. So you get a pulse at the falling edge and this also uh, yeah, involves the glitched comparator mode. So yeah, as you can see, if, it's, if I depower it, then it's still in the glitched mode. And if I would uh, send it back in the, into the non-glitched mode while it's depowered, yeah, the thing breaks. So 
and it would no longer work. So, but it always works with a redstone dust. Yeah. And as you can see, there's no repeater in front. Um, yeah, because yeah, there's one more, uh, game, uh, two more game ticks delay uh, at the depowering side. So yeah, and we only have comparators and no repeaters in there. That's also the cause why this is useful if you, for example, want to send a um, yeah short pulse with um, torches, torches upwards. So this is possible with this uh, falling edge short pulse generator. We can only hope they keep the bugged comparator mode in the game, simply because for us can tell it doesn't do any harm, and we're now we used it and a lot of contraptions rely on that behavior. Over here is the same uh, short pulse generator, only we use torches to power the comparators. And yeah, last but not least, because it kind of falls in the same category of yeah, silent short pulse generators is uh, the well-known falling edge uh, monostable. On a side note, in the latest snapshot 15W38, apart from changing the way item elevators work, there were also some changes to piston behavior. One of these changes causes double piston retraction no longer to work. So I'm still in 1.8 where this still works. And this was a very useful behavior. Um, so it worked like this. If you depower a piston in the back and one in the front in the same game tick, but the piston in the back was depowered a little bit before the other piston because of the update order, then both pistons got retracted and also the piston in the front got retracted back. Yeah, this was very use a very useful behavior, simply because it was the fastest way to make a push-only double piston extender. And yeah, a lot of contraptions by now rely on that behavior. This was in a game for a long time. Uh, for example, my universal tree farm also relies on that behavior. And with no alternative to create such fast double piston extenders, all uh, yeah timings that rely on, on this timing would have to change to be changed and for example my universal tree farm would need a complete overhaul. Here's another example um, where this was useful, where a upwards, uh, upwards facing double piston extender, my yeah, cobblestone farm that I showed yesterday relies on that and here's a downwards facing double piston extender that is powered by a minecart on a detector rail. For example my sugarcane farm uh, relies on that. So I've changed the version to the latest snapshot and none of those things would work anymore. As I said, this behavior was in the game for a long time by now and I found a old bug report where people reported that the double piston extension as it was in 1.9 is a bug and should be fixed. But yeah, Jeff replied there that the double piston uh, retraction as in 1.8 is a intended feature and left it in the game. So in the latest snapshot, this behavior isn't intended if the statement from 2013 would still be true. Because of that, I made a bug report reporting the, that the double piston retraction no longer works but it got wrongly uh, yeah, classified as a duplicate of the bug report I linked with uh, yeah, Jeb's statement. Uh, the link to both bug reports will be in the video description. I hope you can make uh, yeah, Mojang aware of the error they made there. I hope you still have a good day despite all these changes. Goodbye.